Okay, so enough of that. Obviously, the first thing you want to do before you go clubbing is practice your dance moves. Woo! Go, Bindi! <laughs> okay, so seriously, I always eat before I go clubbing, and if I don't, the next day I'm going to feel a hangover and it's going to feel worse than normal. So I wasn't that hungry, so all I made was two toasted sandwiches. I love the tuna and cheese toasted sandwiches. They taste so good, and they're pretty healthy as well, so that's a plus. I mean, it kind of looks like cat food, but we'll get through this. It tastes good, all right? So now pouring myself a massive glass of juice. I'm obsessed with orange juice, you have no idea. So over to the table. Just kidding, I don't even have a dining table yet, so I'm just like walking around. Oh my god, and then I had a cupcake and it tasted so good. I just love cupcakes. Ah! Okay, so now it's time to stop eating and actually get ready. I could eat all day. I don't know about you guys. But anyways, washing my face now with the Kiehl's Deep Foaming Cleansing Wash. This stuff is incredible. I've been using it for so long now and I'm just obsessed with it. And of course, brushing my teeth because, well, I did just eat tuna, so, you know. So now it's time to hydrate the skin because we pretty much just took all of the moisture out of it. So I'm taking my Estee Lauder Hydrationist. This stuff is super thick and it keeps my skin really soft. And of course, taking some eye cream and lip balm to hydrate those areas. And of course I'm applying a fake tan, so I'm just putting a moisturizer that is a gradual tan on today just because I already had my firming tan underneath, so I usually use the Bondi Sands or the Loving Tan. I'm still kind of tossing up between the two, so just putting moisturizer on top to make sure it doesn't go scaly like it usually does. Yay, time for makeup. I'm taking my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I'm just putting this all over my eyelids. This will make sure the eyeshadow stays on all night long and it will also cancel out the discoloration on your lids as well. So now time for my eyebrows. I'm taking my Anastasia Brow Duo. So I've been kind of doing my eyebrows the same for the last like six months now. So you guys probably get the gist of this. But basically I start from the tail, I extend it, and then I make my eyebrows thicker and just sharper. I don't know, you get the drift. The first eyeshadow that I'm taking is Makeup Geek's Creme Brulee. And this is a medium brown, so it's perfect as a transition shade. So I'm just popping that in my crease and blending it out a lot. And then taking my Zoeva Rose Golden Eyeshadow Palette and I'm picking up the shade Just A Rose. It's a gorgeous gold shade that has like a lot of pink shimmer in it. So it basically changes in different light. And then taking the other Cocoa Blend Palette, I'm picking up the shade Substitute For Love. And this is going more in the crease than the other colour, so I'm not blending it out as much. So I'm just using a pinch blending brush and putting that from inner corner to outer corner. And I'm really bringing it out to the edge of my eyebrow just to elongate the shape of my eye. And then, of course, blending everything out. Then taking the shade Freshly Toasted, I'm putting this right in the socket, so from inner corner to outer corner. I'm making quite a dark line just to add more definition and more darkness to the look. Then taking the shade Infusion, which is a gorgeous dark brown with gold shimmers in it. I'm just putting this on the outer socket area. So this is going to kind of make it look a bit more smoky and a bit more club appropriate. And of course, going back and blending it out with Creme Brulee. And then of course cleaning up that fallout, so just from the outer corner of my eye to the edge of my eyebrow, this seriously changes the eyeshadow look so much. And then to highlight, I'm taking the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Nylon and just popping this right under my eyebrow to add a bit of shimmer to the look since it is quite matte. Then taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, I'm just spraying this all over my face and it seriously makes my face feel so refreshed. For foundation, I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Cashew. This is a gorgeous shade when I have a really dark fake tan. If it's a little bit off, I just blend it down my neck like I am now. And a beauty blender is an incredible way to apply it. It just looks so airbrushed and flawless. The foundation has amazing coverage as well. And not to mention, it lasts all night. Like seriously, I've slept with it on before and it does not budge at all. Now taking my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Light Neutral. I'm using this to highlight and cancel out the discoloration under my eyes. This would have to be the best concealer I've ever used. It just has amazing coverage and the shade is perfect. And of course, blending it out with the Beauty Blender, this just makes everything look seamless. Then taking the AC on Tour Contouring and Highlighting Kit, I'm picking up the Banana Shade and just popping that everywhere I put the concealer to make sure it stays nice and highlighted and to make sure it doesn't crease throughout the day. And then of course setting my foundation with my MAC powder in the shade NC40 
And then for the eyeliner, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury liquid liner and just lining my lash line. And then taking the Balm eyeliner in the shade at Dean, I'm just applying this on my waterline and also on my lash line to keep it really dark. Then going in with the shade Freshly Toasted, I'm putting this on my lash line, so from inner corner to outer corner to really even up the eyeshadow since it's very dark on top. Then going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes and my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. These two work amazing together, so just putting this on my top and bottom lashes for a lot of volume. And then of course, since it's a dramatic look, I'm taking my Red Cherry 43 Lashes and my Velour Lash Lou and just popping that right on top and these are just incredible and so easy to apply. Taking my Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in the shade Medium 2, I'm using this to carve out my cheeks, so just putting this in the hollows of my face, so under my cheekbones, my jawbone, and also around my face a little bit. This colour is incredible for contouring, so I'm also using this to contour my nose. This is the first time I've done it, and I kind of like it. To add some warmth into the skin, I'm taking my Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzing Powder. I'm just using this basically in the same places that I put that contour. This adds the most beautiful, like, sun-kissed look to the face, so I make sure to basically put it on my whole face. And then going in with my Makeup Geek Blush in the shade Infatuation. It's a really nice corally shade and it's not too over the top. It pretty much goes with every single look. And then taking my Essence So Glow Highlighter in the shade 10, I'm just putting this under my powder highlight to make it even more intense. So I'm using the Becca in the shade Opal, this stuff is so pigmented, as you can see I went a little bit overboard but I love a really strong highlighter. So just applying this with a fan brush because if you use a really compacted brush you're going to look like a disco ball like you probably think I look like anyway. <laughs> For the lips, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. This lip pencil is incredible. It's so easy to apply because it's really, really pigmented and creamy. And oh, I just can't get enough of the colour. So this was only the second time I'm using it and I'd have to say it's probably one of my favourites. And then going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in the shade Nude Kate, popping this all over my lips and then blending it in with my lip liner. And then I'm just going in and cleaning up that lip liner, so making it look a bit more crisp with a concealer that's a few shades lighter than my foundation. And then we're moving on to the hair. So usually when I go out, I have my hair down. That's just what I always do for some reason. I feel like it just makes me look a bit more dressed up. So parting my hair in the middle, spraying some dry shampoo in because my hair is naturally pretty oily and so annoying. Giving my hair a good brush, yes it was pretty naughty because I actually did go out last night. <laughs> and then going ahead and straightening my hair. I hardly ever straighten my hair because I don't want it to dye and my hair is really kind of weak. And if I straighten it too much, it's just going to get really dry and gross. So there we have the hair. So this is a look that I usually go for when I go clubbing. I love wearing two pieces or dresses. This two piece is from Lady Lux Boutique and because it was really cold I chucked on a coat and this one is from White Fox Boutique. I think these two colours work really nice together and I am completely obsessed with it and not to mention it's really comfortable as well. So that is everything for this hair, makeup and outfit routine video. I hope you guys loved it. I'm obsessed with how the makeup turned out especially. You definitely don't have to wear this clubbing, you could wear it to any special occasion because it is so fancy and dramatic. So I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you very soon. Bye! Okay, so just quickly I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Soft Brown Eyebrow Duo. So I'm just going to do this 